here with another exciting edition of Egg Roulette. We have uh, Dynamite Dave Ainsworth, our general manager, and fantastic Fred Timbrook, the owner, going head to head. Who wins? Fellas, so this is what's going to happen. We're going to ask you some questions. If you get the answer incorrect, you are going to hear this sound. You get, you'll, you'll, you'll get used to that. You'll be hearing that a lot. <laughs> if you hear the correct sound, you'll hear. Oh, that's me. All right. So, if you get it wrong, we play another game. A game inside a game that we'll go over in a little bit. So, starting off, you decided to defer after the flip, right? That's true. So, Mr. Timbrook, you get the first question. What pop singer is known as the Material Girl? Madonna, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, or Taylor Swift? That would be A, Madonna. That is correct. Come on, really? Mr. Ainsworth. <laughs> These are random questions. Who was awarded the very first gold record? Nat King Cole, The Beatles, Elvis Presley, or Perry Como? Madonna. Repeat it again. Who was awarded the very first gold record? Nat King Cole, The Beatles, or Elvis Presley, or Perry Como? I'm going with Elvis. Beatles. Very combo. Very combo. Oh, oh. So, Dave, you. Madonna get, in the first gold record. <laughs> you, get to, you get to take the first Random question. You get to pick the oldest guy. Very combo. <laughs> the egg challenge. Now, once you touch the egg, it is your egg. Oh. And you just have to smash it on your head. Oh, I smash it. Three bad ones, oh. and you lose. So, how many bad ones are in here? Six. Six bad, six good. Yes. Am I allowed to shake them? Nope. Once you touch it, it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bad one. <laughs> they, See, most people the, the good one. The good ones are a little uh, warmer, I would think. No, they've been in the refrigerator right. for 24 hours. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know it's a good one. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> so you're down <laughs> one. <laughs> we, we get at least an So if I get it, you are going to roll with it. You're going to roll with it. Uh, <laughs> All right, Mr. Timbrook. What Depeche Mode song was inspired by Priscilla Presley's book, Elvis and Me? Strange Love, Personal Jesus, World in My Eyes, or Sweetest Perfection? Your own personal Jesus. That's uh, correct. Impressive. <laughs> Dave, how much pressure do the strings on a grand piano observe on the frame? Man, this thing's rigged. Three times? 30 pounds, 300 pounds, or 30 tons. Uh, all right, repeat that one again. How much pressure do the strings in a grand piano exert on the frame? Three tons, 30 pounds, 300 pounds, or 30 tons? 300 pounds. 30. 3,000? It's actually 30 tons. What? Wow. It's going to be a 30-time egg in your head. In the last couple episodes, the person who starts off the horse usually wins. Well, I hope I get a little, get some, uh, like, Paul Abdul answers. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh, a hard, hard boy. Right, eh? That's a good so, one. So you got to get three bad ones, right? Three right. Ones. <laughs> so I just, I got to get really good at picking the right egg. <laughs> With these questions. So if you get three yokes, it's, it's over? over. Oh, yeah. okay, good. Right. Fred, what is the oldest surviving musical instrument? The flute, the drum, the lyre, or the trumpet? Surviving, the oldest surviving musical instrument. The lyre. No. It's actually the flute. Really? That was my number two. I would've picked drum. All right. Tied up. Wow, just Come going on. for it. Oh! 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 Yes. Oh! I don't know if 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 I don't what singer holds the world record for most words in a hit single? Kanye West, Busta Rhymes, 50 Cent, or Eminem? 
most words. Yep, and a hit single. Eminem. That's correct. There you go. You know your gangster rap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you want me to sing the one that has it? <laughs> Fred, which jazz musician was known for playing yes. a bent trumpet? Dizzy Gillespie, Miles Davis, Louis Armstrong, or Chet Baker? That's a tough one. A bent trumpet. Let's go with Louis Armstrong. That would be incorrect. Yes. It was actually Dizzy Gillespie. Come I, on. Thought, I thought you would have got that one. All right. Try to keep it on your own self. Uh, I can't pick it up now. All right, you ready? <laughs> Yes! Oh, yes. <laughs> it's a hard one. All right. Yes. You, guys so are, much you, know, <laughs> you guys are all tied. It's all residual. Come on, man. Give me a material girl or something. All right. What was the first rock and roll song to hit number one on the charts? That's all right. Tutti Fruity, Rock Around the Clock, or Heartbreak Hotel? Can I give it one more time? What was the first rock and roll song to hit number one on the charts? That's all right. Tutti Fruity, Rock Around the Clock, or Heartbreak Hotel? That's all right, little mama. That's all right with me. Oh, no. Tutti Fruity. Nope. Heartbreak Hotel. It was actually Rock Around the Clock. Oh, man. Watch your happy days. There you are, sir. Right. That's a good one. Let's see. That's, some, that's a good one. Let's, let's see, see some yolk. There we go. Two. <laughs> you know, it's funnier if it goes down the front of it. Oh. No, it's not really. <laughs> All right, Fred. Who did the vocals for Pink Floyd's Great Gig in the Sky? Was it Vicki Brown, Janis Joplin, Roger Waters, or Claire Torrey? Roger Waters. Yes. It was my last guess of Claire Torrey. No. I mean, who doesn't know that? Yeah. Who knows really? that? <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> All right. Another hard one. Oh, oh, man. Oh. Hey, we're, getting down. Down. we're getting down. Getting down. <laughs> this could be it right here. I, 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 I got one right, right? Yes. Right. In U2's Angel of Harlem, or I'm sorry, U2's Angel of Harlem was written about what singer? Josephine Baker, Janis Joplin, Billy Holiday, or Aretha Franklin? This is 80s and 90s music here. One more time. In U2's Angel of Harlem was written about what singer? Josephine Baker, Janis Joplin, Billie Holiday, or Aretha Franklin? What was the first one again? <laughs> Josephine Baker. Josephine Baker, I'm going with her. Billie Holiday. It was Billie Holiday. All right, this could be it, Dave. This could be short-lived. Did I get like a bonus round or something? <laughs> this is it. Come on. See, it went down right now. Oh! oh. 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 I'm a bad egg. <laughs> <laughs> a terrible trip. Yeah. All right, All right. <laughs> we're singing, Jeremy. I prepared for the wrong, the yeah, wrong this show. This was supposed to be 80s and 90s. I had a broad edge. Can we sing for a bunch round? <laughs> sure. What do you want to Can we give us some songs to sing or something? I can come back. How about where we like hear the... The, yes. Like, give a us, few, a few give us some. Gonna... I need a comeback. Well, that could be round two. You guys could do round yeah. two. Right, right. We'll, we'll two. set it up like I did. Like name that tune. Give right, some beats. I'll figure that. Out. Hey, that does it for today's uh, <laughs> egg roulette challenge. Our winner, Mr. Fred Tambrook. That's right. <laughs> there was never any rematch. doubt. The rematch is coming. <laughs> the rematch sing along is coming. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for watching, and uh, if you want to take part in this, please let us know. Comment down below. We'd love to get you involved, and uh, if you want to take on one of these guys, you're certainly welcome to do that. Hey, this is JB, your car guy for Dave and Fred. Have a great day. See ya. See ya.